assume that both populations are normally distributed, test whether mu sub 1 does not equal mu sub 2 at the 0.05 level of significance for the given sample data, then construct a 95% confidence interval. Okay, so not crazy about how this is worded, but this is what we got. So again, HO is always equals, so we can eliminate A and C. So we're looking at D or B. Well, it's definitely not B because it's greater than. So D. Determine the p-value. So we're going to use this data here. We have a two-sample t-test in StatCrunch. So I'm going to go to Stat, t-stat. We have two samples, and we have summary data. So put in sample mean, population 1, 12.8. Sample standard deviation is 3.1, and the sample size is 12. Be careful, the order is different here than in the table. Hopefully that didn't throw you. 17.7, first mean 2. Standard deviation is 3.8, and sample size is 12. Okay, do an hypothesis test. First one is they're equal, second one they're not, so defaults work on this one. And I like a good old p-value plot. So here we go. So our test statistic is, looks like negative 3.5. It's pretty, pretty big, more than three standard deviations away from the mean. Very small p-value. So it's asking for p-value, so to three decimal places would be 0 0.002. So that's very, very low. It doesn't, yeah, at 0.05 level significance, we're definitely going to reject HO. There's definitely evidence to conclude the two populations that have different means. You can kind of look at them and see they're different, right? I mean, the question is, how likely am I to see a difference this big if I go in and get another sample of 12 from each population? It's a pretty big difference. It's almost five, right? And with numbers this small. So we're going to reject HO. There is sufficient evidence to conclude they have different means. I mean, we know the samples have different means. It's the question is, is how likely is, it, is the population to have different means? So, as we often do, when we reject HO, we're going to create a 95% confidence interval. Stat crunch, we're just going to go back into options, edit, and do a confidence interval. Normally, we leave this pooled variance as off. And it has been selected to off for quite a while. Compute. There's our interval. So it's between negative seven, running to two places. So negative 7.84. And to negative 1.96. All right, so we're 95% confident that the true difference, in fact, we can kind of be more specific here now, right, that the Population 1 is between 7.84 and 1.96 less than population 2. Or you could go the other way and say population 2 is between 1.96 and 7.84 more. Either way is fine. 